are these little things. And the cool part is they give you the hole in the middle as well. Morning, afternoon, evening. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing well. Zoe and I have been here for a little bit. We're working on our normal chores, doing laundry. I'm about to shave. Hello. Hello. Okay, fine, ignore me. Shave, I need to shave. But first, got a package. I knew this was coming today and I know what it is. So I'm pretty excited. Let's get the camera set up. Maybe you guys can just bless you. Maybe you guys can just watch me open it. Let me set you up. One second. Everybody be patient. Okay. It's just this little box. Little itty bitty thing. And I actually found this product on Shark Tank. You know that TV show that's awesome? It's where I uh, saw this. And I was kind of curious about it, so I got it. Let me open it up and I will explain to you what this is. Okay. They are, uh, I don't know how to, healthy donuts, I guess is the best way to say this. Maybe it'll describe it somewhere on it. No, it doesn't. You, you think it would. Patience, dogs, I'm filming one second. Uh, well, all right, if you're curious, there's a coupon code for 10% off. I would have liked to know that ahead of time because these things were expensive but all right what are they what are they does all right am i just gonna have to explain it myself they are uh donuts and they tried them on shark tank they all liked them and then i did research online and looked at reviews just to make sure they they were good they have a lot they're high protein with barely any sugar like here let me let me open one up and this is a variety pack there are eight different kinds so I have apple pie, cookie butter, cinnamon, cookie monster, cake batter, Reese's, cookies and cream, and milk chocolate. And here, let me just open it up and show you. Maybe it says on the side. Maybe it says on the side. Nope. Nope. It says uh, our homemade glazes are packaged to a... Okay. The stuff on top of each, they're packaged separately so you can put them on yourself. So there are these little things. And the cool part is they give you the hole in the middle as well. So you don't just get like a donut thing. You get the hole. And you get you get four in a pack, obviously. And then, oh, that's cool. All the little add-ins or the fix-ins are all right here. So see, that's cake batter. Got Reese's, a little bit of sprinkles, cookies, or cookies and cream. And then here, this will help a little bit. Let me take this paper out if I can. All the nutritional facts of each donut. And this is including all the stuff. So let me just look at the sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. There is like three to four grams of sugar in each one. And it, it actually, oh that's cool. It tells you with and without. So. 12 grams, 14 grams with the stuff on, and compared to a normal donut, that's really, really good. So, yeah, you get all this stuff, and then you just make them yourself. It's really cool, nice idea, and supposedly they're delicious, and I'm going to toss some of these in the freezer because there's no way I'm gonna eat eight of these things within the next few days, because that's what they tell you to eat them within like five days or something. But yeah, that was my package, now I'm gonna go shave. I forgot to mention this pack of eight donuts was about $38. And it does tell you you can use them, put them in the freezer. I thought it, and I thought you couldn't, but yeah, you can do that. And if you go on their website, it's, I'm sure it was on one of the papers I showed you, the doughbar.com or something. Yeah, that's probably what the website is. They have a, duffer, a bunch of different packages that you can choose from. This package, I guess, isn't gonna be around long. The only reason they have a pack of eight is because they were just on Shark Tank and they want people to try their stuff out. So, okay, that is everything. And this is this is the second one: the apple pie, cookie butter, cinnamon, the little cinnamon toast crunch, and I don't I don't know what that is. Cookie pieces, some more. Oh, those are the, those are cookie fishies. So yeah, 
really nifty. I like these things. I really kind of want to eat one right now, but I need to go run first. The shaving is complete. I'm going to start dinner because I'm going to bake it in the oven. It's going to take a while. Chicken, which is thawed, and then Excuse I'm going. Excuse. The thing came out. Okay. Sorry. Excuse you. Don't know what's going on. And I'm going to cut up some potatoes and cheese. And your battery door is coming open on its own. Okay, anyways, back to this. Um, cheese. Bag of cheese. And some sauce. We're going to use the rest of this sauce. And, and... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all right, you, you just, just chill. Some of this sauce. And that's gonna be everything, well, with some seasons and spices and you know, all the other stuff that I put in. But that's gonna be dinner. Sounds delicious to me, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna taste delicious. But like I said, we need to start early, so it'll have enough time to cook, so, so we can get to bed, cause school tomorrow. Chicken is ready. I just cut off all the like fatty pieces and the tendons. I made six little chicken strip things. Now it is time to grease this pan. Sometimes I forget to do this and it's impossible to get our food out. Yeah, it's real fun. And then I was gonna put the potatoes down first, but I realized It'd probably be better the chicken went in, and then the potatoes, and then the marinara. And I'm using a small pan on purpose. I want it to take a little longer to cook, and then and the chickens not to dry out as much. So that's why I'm going with this smaller one, because I do have bigger pans. Okay, that's almost perfect. Time to clean this and cut some potatoes. I almost forgot to show you guys the season layer. I was, I was filming. <laughs> so yeah, added a bunch of seasonings. Onion powder, lemon salt, pepper, and a couple other things. Cayenne pepper as well. Now it's time to cut up potatoes. Next layer, potatoes and then just some garlic powder. Layer of pasta sauce. Whole bag of cheese and a bunch of mashed up croutons. And it is complete. And this is a total experiment. Like I said, I know it's gonna taste good, but I have no idea how long this is gonna take to cook. So I think I'm gonna go to lower heat because it's really dense and I need the inside to cook as well as the outside because if you put it at a high heat, then it's gonna cook the outside really quick and then the inside's gonna be not not as cooked, so I'll probably go, I'm thinking 325, and then I'll check it after an hour. Dinner's in the oven. Time to go work out. Wow, and it already smells good. Dang. Mmm. Time to put out candles. It's always a good idea to put out delicious smelling candles when there's food competing with the smells, because the food's always, food smells always better. Still drumming? My little drummer boy. Pum 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 pum. So Zoe wants to put up the punching bag, and I offered to help her, and she insisted on doing it herself. I hope when we walk in here, she's not dead on the ground underneath a punching bag. It's hard, right? I can't even do it by myself with that ladder. That's how I got it up once, and well, no, you just have to put it on. Yeah, you set it there. But then, then you have to lift it even further. It's a two-person job. One person has to hold the chains. The other one has to hold the punching bag. I tried to use the weights. Yeah, no, I know. It's Trust me, I've tried to do it by myself before. I was like, Zoe, you're not going to be able to try. I was like, you can try. Come out here and try. And, well, you got the chain back on it. So, so far, you, you're doing well. But here, let's, uh, yeah, I can. you want to do it yourself? So, you're going to hurt yourself. Okay, let me just stand here. That's like an 80 pound punching bag. 
Can you lift it up onto the ladder? It's heavier than it looks. It's heavier than it looks. The best way to lift it is... I was able to lift it, but now my hands are really, really sweaty. Oh, okay. Well, do you want my help? Is that a yes? It's hard for two people to do it, let alone one. Here, let me help you. Do you want to hook it or do you want to hold it? Here, you hook it. Grab this right here, goes to the top. So, I'm going to lift it. It is done two hours later. I'm glad I started this early. But it's a little crispy on the corners, but had to cook all the way through. Oh. Look, does not look good? Looks delicious. It's, burnt. it's not burnt. See, not burnt. It's just dark on the, the edges or whatever. And uh, I don't know how this is going to work. Oh. Did you guys see the steam? There's the cheese. Trying to keep it together, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Guess we should make sure these are done. Yep, those are cooked all the way through. Do you want one chicken or two? One to just start. Just one to start, okay. I'll just try to scoop it all the way to the bottom. See, potatoes and everything. Mm. Do you want more or is that good for now? That's good. Okay. It's very hot. This is really good. I mean, it's like 100 million degrees and I burn the crap on my tongue, but it's delicious. Do you agree? Minus the burning of your tongue because... I just did. You did too? It's so hot. But, got lots left. It's pretty exciting. Okay, back to our show. Hi, look, she's here, she's here, and she liked... Oh, she has dessert now, but she liked the food too because it was delicious and yeah, and my tongue still burnt a little bit. But I was so hungry and yeah. Um, we're watching The Shape is Water still. About halfway through it, I think. That's it. That's all that's going on. We're going to bed soon, so this is going to be the good night, the good night video. And we'll see you tomorrow. And Nick and I are actually going to see. Oh, I keep forgetting the name of this movie. What's it called? That horror movie? Yeah. Don't talk or don't breathe or don't make a sound or um, don't something. It's not don't breathe because that was a horror movie. Yeah, uh, one, one second. All right, it's right here. It's right here. Um, um, a Quiet Place. Nick and I are going to see that. And I, she. I'm kind of worried. It looks good, but it's rated PG-13. But the last, like, don't breathe is PG-13. No, or what? not don't breathe. Um, what is it? That... The last horror movie we saw that was really good with the running, the guy, the psychological horror movie with the black guys. That was rated R. That was rated R? Get Out. Get Out was rated R? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's rated really high. This one is. Split was rated PG-13 though. Split was awesome. M. Night Channel movies are always rated. I don't know. I think it's going to be good. And she would be going, but we're seeing a really late movie and she's not she doesn't like to stay up super late and watch movies i guess i'm I tired at the theater uh, i like it i think it's fun. like a day i work and tomorrow i'm getting up at six like around 6 30. yeah so i don't know back by in that time i'll be tired and i don't want to be falling asleep in a movie i'm like a night person night person just like she can vouch for like i can stay up till like it's light out and i can fight the sleepiness and not fall asleep I like doing that. Like, Nick and I, back when we were younger, we used to go see midnight movies and 1 a.m. movies back when they had them all the time, and we would just stay and watch movies super late. So that's kind of, like, not really what we're doing, but it's later movie, so yeah, that's why she's not going, but um, I'm Nick still going to... fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, Nick falls asleep, but I don't know. I don't know. It's it's a good movie, and we're both excited to see it, so hopefully not. You can say it's a good movie. I mean, you've seen it. It's got like a really high rating everywhere. It's rated really oh high. Gosh, yeah, I know. That happens every time I shave. It, every single time. 
All right, but anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you yeah. for watching. No. And good night. I'm going to eat an Oreo right now. Yes, I am. <laughs>